Hey guys, this is Brent with Western Equipment, and today I'm going to be talking about the John Deere Z3 Zero Turn lineup. Now, within this line of mowers, there's going to be seven different models and three different trim levels. So sometimes it can be a little confusing and a little hard to pick which model exactly we should be purchasing. But hopefully after watching this video and seeing these differences, I can help you pinpoint the exact model you need. So let's get started. So let's start out by running through the seven different models and the three different trim levels within those. So first off, we'll start with the trim levels and the first one is going to be an E. So that means it's gonna be the economy model of mower and you're gonna have two options there, which is the Z335E and the Z355E. Now moving up, the next trim level is going to be the M trim level where you'll have one model, which will be the Z345M. Now the next trim level up, which is going to be like what we have here is going to be the R. These are gonna be the mowers that have the most features on them, the most top of the line in the lineup. Then you're going to have the Z345R, the Z355R, the Z365R and Z375R. Next, let's talk about decks. And with the Z3 lineup, you're going to have one build type of deck, meaning that you will only have the XL Deep option deck on the Z3 mowers. Now, when we move down, say, into the tractor style mowers, we have different options such as the edge cutting system. Or if we move up in frame, we have such things as the high capacity decks. But with the Z3 lineup, you're only going to have the XL Deep. Now, you will have three different sizes of deck, ranging from 42 to 48 to 54, and then you'll also have two different gauges of steel that these decks are going to be made of. So real quick here, we'll run through the models and through which size of deck those models are going to have, and also the gauge of steel that those are going to be made from. So let's start with the 42 inch, that way you know exactly which models have that 42 inch deck, and that's going to be the Z335E, the Z345M and the Z345R. And those 42 inch decks are going to be made of the 12 gauge stamped steel. Now, when we move to the 48, you're going to have three different models that have that 48 inch deck. And that's going to be the Z355E, the Z355R and the Z365R, which is new to 2021. Now, once you move up to the 48 inch deck, you're moving to a heavier style deck, which is going to be made of 10 gauge steel. So moving up from a 12 gauge to a 10 gauge is going to be an improvement, adding strength to that deck. Now, with the 54 inch, you're only gonna have one model that has that, and that's going to be the Z375R, and it's also going to be a 10 gauge steel deck. Talking about frame and tire size. Now, the frame on these mowers, no matter what model that you're going to, all the way from the E trim levels up to the R, is going to be the same size of frame. And what you're gonna have here is one inch by one and a half tubular framing that runs from the front all the way to the rear of the mower. But some differences that you're going to see is, is between the 42 inch decks and the 48 and 54. So there's a gap between the 42 when then whenever you move up to the 48s. And what the difference is, is that here, what we have is a 55R that has the 48 inch deck. And you can see here that the frame actually curves out and spreads out our front wheels here. And what that's doing is that's just spreading those front wheels out, helping to displace that weight, make this a little more even ride by widening out those front tires. Now, what you'll see on the models with the 42 inch deck is that these casters will just come straight out instead of being splayed out to the side. And the reason for that is, is that you're going to have a little less heavy deck, a little lighter deck, and then also the deck isn't as big, so you don't have that need for that extra weight displacement. So that will be a difference that you'll see there. Now, talking about tire sizes, here on the 48 and on the 54, at the front, you're gonna see 13 inch casters. That again is another addition that is added when we move up in deck size, to make up and to add to the ride quality for the addition of that weight. And then whenever you're down in the 42 inch models, these will be 11 inch front casters. So a little smaller. Once again, we're not having to carry as much weight. So those tires can be smaller. Now, the rear tires are also going to change when you jump from a 42 to a 48. So on a 42 inch model, there'll be 18 inch rear tires. 
And when we move up to a 48 or a 54, they're gonna be 20 inch rear tires. Now, you may be asking why are bigger tires a big deal on these mowers? And the thing is, guys, is that whenever we have the larger tires, for one thing you have to think about is the stability of these mowers and also the suspension. And tires help a lot with the suspension and also with holding the weight of the mower. So when we move to those bigger tires in the front and in the rear, when we're carrying these heavier decks, you're gonna get such things, like I said, is better suspension, better ride quality, and more power to the ground by having that rear tire to help push those larger decks. Now talking about the seat. Now what we have here is going to be on an R model. This is an 18 inch back seat here. It's a high back one piece with the armrest and the drain hole. Now within the Z3 lineup, you're gonna have two options at the seat. Now these aren't gonna depend on model. These are strictly based on trim level. So as we talked about, we have that E, M and R trim level. This seat is the one that you're going to see on the M trim level and the R trim level. And once we move down to the E trim level, this is actually gonna to change to a 15 inch back seat, still that single piece with that drain hole, but you will lose the addition of the armrest. So if you're looking for that extra comfort of that high back seat and the armrest, you're gonna to wanna to be looking at the M or R trim level. Next is gonna be the control levers here. Now this is one feature that a lot of people don't think a lot about whenever we're talking about the functionality of this mower, but this is going to be a big deal when we're talking about the comfort of operating this mower. So here we have again the R series levers here and this is the only trim level that you're going to see these levers on and as you can see we have these different curvatures here. We also have this curve that goes up that raises these levers up a little higher to give a little more clearance for if you're that taller operator with those longer legs you're going to have a little more clearance when you're going forward with these operator levers as you would as opposed to what you would have in the M and the E series. Now, in the M and the E series, these are actually going to be a black lever that come up and make this same curve, but then they just go straight up and straight out. So they don't have the addition of this raised portion here, and they're also not gonna have the addition of this curvature to where you have the different placement for your hands to add to that comfort. Now let's talk a little bit about the deck raise and lower system. Now, much like the seat, this is going to be very dependent on your trim level. So whether you have an E, M or R is going to determine what type of deck lift system you have here. Now, you're always going to have this hand raise and lower here. This is what's going to be on the E and the M. Now, once you move to the R, you are gonna have the addition of this foot raise lever that you can see right here. But throughout the entire lineup, you will have this hand raise and lower system that is also done by pin here to change our height. So we'd pull this pin out, change our height, and then to raise or lower, we would lower that down. Now on the E and the M, you will have to do this by hand, just like so. But if you have the addition of this raise pedal, it's as simple as pushing in, that locks in at the top, and then you're raised up. Just a tidbit, if you do go with an E or an M, and this is something that you wanna add because it won't come standard on your machine, I'm gonna put a link in the description below where you can go to get that part. Now, probably the most important thing that we'll talk about here is going to be the engines. Now, these are gonna have a wide range of horsepowers all the way from 20 to 25, but let's break it down by model on which model has which engine. Now, to start off, in the Z3 lineup, the whole entire series are going to be Briggs & Stratton engines. But starting with the Z335R, you're gonna have a 20 horsepower engine. Now that's gonna be the smallest engine in the lineup, but that's also the smallest mower in the lineup with the smallest deck and the least amount of specs being that it's in that E trim level. Now, once we move up to the Z355E, the Z345M, the Z345R, and Z355R, then we're moving to a 22 horsepower engine like we have here on this model. Now, right here, it does say that it is a John Deere engine on top, but you will notice over on the side, there is a sticker here that is gonna tell you that it is a Briggs & Stratton, just so that you do know that. Now, the new model to this lineup, the Z365R, as of 2021, is going to have an even different engine. So once we move to that, 
We're going to move up to 24 horsepower. We're also going to move into Briggs & Stratton's ELS series of engines, which stands for Extended Life Series. Now, what that means is, is that the internal components are just a little higher quality just to add to the life of that engine and add to the longevity that this engine should last. And then one other thing that you're going to get in that Z365R and only in that Z365R is the 30 second oil change system. Now, if you don't know what that 30 second oil change system is, this is gonna be a system that was initially implemented on the 100 series tractors, but they're now putting this on the Z365R. And this is gonna be a great system if you're one of those guys that changes your oil regularly and changes it with the intervals that the machine suggests, this is gonna be a great system. Now, what this does is this changes about half of the engine in the motor and it's stored here in the filter. So whenever you go to change this out, it's as easy as popping off the old one, popping on the new one. So you're getting half fresh oil and then half of the oil stays in the engine. Now, if this is one of those things where you can't sleep at night because you're that guy that you know that having that dirty oil in the engine is a problem, or maybe you're that person that goes way over the interval amount of changing your oil, then guys don't go this route because it will not change all of that oil. Just know that if the time and the energy and saving that time and energy is worth it to you, this is a great system to look into on that Z365R. Now, lastly, the Z375R is going to be a 25 horse horsepower engine, but it's also going to be in that ELS lineup. So it is going to be that extended life series with those higher quality components. Guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope after watching this, you're able to pick that Z3 that's perfect for you. Also guys, if you have any parts needs, make sure to check out that link in the description below to buy those. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Ugh. Wow, dude, we did that. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.